we're always in a hurry, we're always online, we lost contact with nature, and when we travel, we face another problem, mass tourism. I want to introduce a guide to you. He has a solution to all of these problems. Traveling aboard of a cargo ship. Hello. Yeah. Joris organizes trips aboard of cargo boats. But before we get into further details, I want to tell you his story. This is Joris. He used to go to the seaside a lot with his family. He was fascinated by sailing ships. But I want to let him do the talking. At the end, I was waiting for a captain that would invite me aboard. And strangely enough, last summer I was babysitting on a sailing boat and I saw a little guy with a captain's cap with his mother walking by. I was getting very emotional because I did what the other captains didn't. I invited the little guy, the little captain on board, and it was really like, wow, I was five years old, wow, wow, we're in the ship and we get into the ship. And, you know, it's an experience that I will never forget. And that's, that's what I like to do, to give other people a lifetime experience. I literally got goosebumps listening to him. But let's talk about cargo ships. What can we expect from such trips? We offer people the chance to travel as a, as a passenger aboard a freighter ship. The big difference between the luxury cruises and our trips are we have maximum 12 people aboard and there is no entertainment aboard. And it's not something you use to get from A to B, but uh, being on the way is the purpose. But I was wondering, where did his journey start? I was asking myself, like, how would life be aboard? And after a while, I visited the Red Star Line Museum. And it's all about the two million people who uh, came from all around Europe to Antwerp to uh, go to America to, to get a better future. And I thought to myself, OK, if I get aboard, then it will be from Antwerp to New York. So it was a 14-day trip, there were six passengers aboard on the Atlantic Ocean. I was thinking to myself, what will I do? Will I work another 20 years in the graphic design world? Or will I change what I'm doing? And, and then I decided to yeah, offer people the same experience because uh, it's, it's amazing. With very good reasons, he founded Captain Zeppels, an Antwerp-based travel agency. We're all the only Dutch-speaking travel agency that only offers trips on, on Fridays worldwide. Uh, so 86 countries, over 217 ports. What we offer people is time. If you are on the Atlantic Ocean for six days and you only see sky and water, it makes you think that nature is so much bigger as, as us humans. I guess you feel very small compared to the nature. Very, very small. You can't uh, escape into your mobile. There is no internet on board, so uh, no social media. <laughs> Clearly I can use some time off screen. But I was wondering, how can one fill in all of this free time? Uh, watching, reading, doing nothing. Nothing wrong with that. And also talking to, to the people from the kitchen, chef, cook, captain, first officer, talking about yeah, what life, what's interesting about life. Sounds like I would get to know myself better if I were a passenger. But there's also some practical things that you need to know before you book your tickets. Your departure can be delayed can be earlier as agreed and also the arriving can depend. There are not a lot of free cabins on a, on a ship so it's uh, very important to book your trip uh, like six months before departure. You have your own cabin, three meals a day. We will always tell our passengers it's 100 euro without the insurance and other expenses. Some are also cheaper because it depends on which cabin you choose, on the shipping companies. Younger people, I think at the moment, they have a problem with the price because they compare it with the flying tickets. Yeah, if you, if you see it as a transport, it's slow. <laughs> but if we do compare this with flying tickets, I think we should also discuss the ecological aspect. It's fair to say that cargo ships are very polluting, but since these ships are sailing anyway, we might as well use the empty spots aboard. Yeah, those cabins that we offer are 
as we call them, empty cabins, so they're not used. So you hitchhike on a freighter ship uh, worldwide. So it's eco-friendly. We'll finally have time for ourselves. We'll get offline, very close nature, and we will not participate in mass tourism. Wow, sounds like the perfect solution to me. Can you imagine yourself traveling aboard of a freighter ship? Please tell me in the comments below. And if you have any questions for me or for Joris, please let us know. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to support my channel and more content is coming, so stay tuned.